פרק 22, משנה א', צ'פטר 22, משנה א'. חבית של יין וכיוצא בזה. A barrel of wine, similar things. So you got a big container. שנשברה בשבת, that broke on Shabbat itself. Oh, so we learned something like this. We learned, but yeah. it wasn't on Shabbos, I think. No, it, it was on Shabbos. It, it was the, with the fire. You ah. remember? It, it was with the fire. With the fire? Why? Yeah. I remember... Ah, no, no. You, you see what I'm saying? It was with the fire. No, I, I remember it was uh, for the guy that walked in the street and he broke the dish. If you can take the wine... Ah, that was, okay. that was in the Gemara, Baba Kama. In the Gemara. That, that was money-wise. כן, yeah, money wise, exactly. Yeah, this is Shabbat. So it says, to take from it food for three meals, just like we need in the fire. Okay. Ah, the fire, okay. Yeah, and we said, what's the problem with the fire? It says, because a person is worried, he's running around, there's fire all around, you know, he, he might come and put out the fire. Over here, what's the problem? Why only Shabbat to the Save the whole thing. Yeah, there's nothing to do. What can be wrong? So that's all. That's it. Just like in front of the fire that happened before. And he's allowed to take out even in many vessels. You know, in other words, you can take it in small cups, many, he doesn't have to take it one. We said, if it's in one basket, you can take the whole, a hundred even meals. It says, why only three meals? What's the problem of you? Take the whole thing. You're not afraid you're going to extinguish fire. Exactly. It says, the reasoning is just like in fire. What? Because the, the sage says, you're worried about money now, right? The whole barrel is flicking. Once you're starting to deal with it, he's going to come and fix the barrel. Like this, he knows he's not allowed to. Yeah. או שמא יביא כלים דרך רשות הרבים, או maybe he's going to take vessels through the public domain. So again, what's the problem? The problem is tools for you is vessels, אתה רואה? זה חשיבה של התורה. For me, כלים, when it says שמא יביא כלים דרך, אתה אומר vessels, I would say tools. No, no, no. אתה מבין? אז משהו פה... Two different reasons. The first reason is כלים, when it says כלים it means vessels. אבל כלים מותר לו לבוא ולשפוך. הוא אמר, כמה שכלים שיש לך תביא. כשאתה אומר כלים, כלים, מה אתה מתכוון? פלייר? כן. אוקיי, כלים, כשאני אומר כלים... בית חולי מיליון. לא, כלים כשהוא אומר פה, הוא מתכוון קאפס. And how do I know? Because look how it says it. Go, חששו חכמים, you with חששו חכמים? כן, איפה? כמו בדלקה. Just like in Dleka. You see that? Okay, okay. Shechashashu chachamim, the sages are worried. Now they're going to have two worries, are you? They're going to have two, slowly, slowly. They're going to have two worries. Letaken et chachamim. Shema mitoch shehu bahul al memono, maybe he's leaking $10,000 over here in the barrel. He's worried about his money. Yavo letaken et chachavit. He's going to bring regular tools. Oh. To fix oh. regular tools, to fix the, the barrel. That's one worry. Besides that worry, you have another. Even if you're going to say he's not going to bring tools, we're not worried about tools. You say, you know, he's not going to bring tools. He knows tools is mooks on Shabbos. He's not going to bring no. tools. You're still going to be worried. Why? He's going to run to his neighbor's, yeah, neighbor's place. He's going to say, you have a barrel? You have a pot? And he's going to come with vessels from his neighbor into his house. And there's no eruv yeah. on there's no zeru. That's what he says. O shema yavi kelim derech reshut harabim. Maybe he's going to bring ah, what kind of vessels? 
Yeah, exactly. But I understood that there was a Yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't understand why he was saying vessels. Yeah, vessels, even if you're going to say he's not going to bring pliers, he's not going to bring other stuff. And how would you explain that it says, even, even, even in the language, Oh. In the beginning, that yeah. means that what you can bring a lot of vessels. A lot of vessels, yeah. It says when you take out the wine out of the things, you don't have to take it with one big pot. You can take it with 20 different cups. Uh-huh. The here at all, it is not worried about... Uh, your house. Ah, it's your, your house. Oh. Over here it says, Amar la Akhirim. I see, okay. Now I need to do it. Okay. Ivanti. And the Gemara is discussing this, why you worried about this and not that. Okay? Okay. Lacherim, and just like the other one, he says to the other ones, comes and save for yourself. And each one is able to save three meals. And all of this is as long as he's not going to come and uh, sponge it. Shelo yasim sfog bayayim. He's not allowed to sponge the wine in order to absorb it and then pour it into another vessel. And why with no sponges? We said sponges is not a problem. Because we're worried he's going to come squeeze it during the Shabbat. There are those who think even when you're not worried that he's going to squeeze, for example, we say it, sometimes the sponge has a handle. Nevertheless, he's not going, we not, not going to allow him. From the din, he should be allowed to, but we're not going to allow him. Why not? So that just that he's going to have in mind that this is Shabbat and not a regular weekday. הרמב״ם כותב את שתי התנאים כאחד, the Rambam brings these two reasons in one shot. He says, ובלבד שלא יספוג היין. He says, as long as he doesn't absorb the wine into a sponge, שאם יעשה כדרך שהוא עושה בחול, שמא יבוא לידי סחיטה. Because if he's going to do it, the manner he does it in a regular day, since in a regular day he squeezes, he might squeeze over him. Finished. Oh, this is a good one. אין סוחטין את הפירות. That's right. That's right. Exactly. In the morning. You know the lot make orange juice on Shabbat. Actually, we're going to see soon. אבל זה אוכל נפש. Yeah, but still, לא שבת. אוכל נפש זה רק יום טוב, דרך אגב. לא שבת. אוכל נפש זה רק יום טוב. אין סוחטים את הפירות בשבת. We do not squeeze fruits on Shabbat. להוציא מהם משקין, to separate from them um, liquids. שסחיטת פירות היא תולדת דש, because this is an offspring of מינויים. אם אתה עושה בו סלימון. לא נולד. זה סלט. או... לימון קצת למון. Very good, very good, very good. לימון בסלט, it goes food to... food. food? over here you take liquid. to food. No, you take food to liquid. Oh, the limon in the salad, the limon okay. remains food in the salad. If you want to squeeze oh, the limon into your tea, down, if you want to squeeze food. the limon into your tea, now you're in trouble. Because ah. limon is solid, is a fruit, and you turn a fruit into a liquid. That's going to be a problem. Okay. But limon, a lemon into salad, or onto, to- onto fish or whatever because you want. You eat it together. Because it, it's nullified to the food. It's beca- it still remains food. And it's like cutting. It's like cutting the lemon. It's, that, that's what it ha- happens. And here, because it's changed the form. That's the right. Liquid, that's right. Now, instead to eat it, you drink it. That, exactly. You add madriga. It, it doesn't matter you add madriga. You changed. You changed. It's, you, it's called like dash. You separated completely. It's called complete separation. I don't know if the Mishnah is going to discuss this. This is just a lacha, what I just told you now. Yeah? And if they came out on their own, for example, you have two team, and there's a liquid okay. come out of two team. Even if it happened on their own, they're still prohibited if you didn't squeeze them. 
המשקים בשתייה באותו שבת, no allowed on that שבת, גזרע שמא יבוא לזכור את הפירות בידיים בשבת. Because it's a decree, you might be going to eat on שבת. או, oh, it does talk about it. <laughs> רבי יהודה אומר, רבי יהודה says, <laughs> אם לאוכלים, <laughs> oh no, it says something else. Oh yeah, no, it's exactly, it's exactly the same logic, but it's the same logic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> אם לאוכלים, it means that he had in mind the lemon is going to go on top of the fish. Okay. That's what he had in mind, yeah, to eat him. That's why he's saying eat him, not drink him. Yeah. אם הפירות עומדים לאכילה, if these fruits were for eating, היוצא מהם מותר. No. רבי יהודה goes further than what I said. רבי יהודה says, as long as I had lemons that I was going to um, going to eat them. I'm going to use them for, I was planning to use them for the salad. Okay. And then they gave out juice, I'm allowed to drink the juice. Tanakama said, you're not allowed to drink the juice. Right. But why are you allowed to drink the juice? You're so hot. You know, no, no, no. It, it, it came out on its own. Oh. It said, in the case, Rabbi Yudha says, in the case, oh, it, it came, came out, out on its own. own you, you, can, were, you can eat. As long as it was there for the purpose of eating. Okay. Tanakama says, I don't care what it was for eating or drinking, don't use it if liquid comes out. Rabbi Yudha says, no, 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 no. Okay. If it was for eating, then you're allowed to drink it. So it's not exactly what we said before. Okay. אם לאוכלים, אם הפירות עומדים לאכילה, if the fruits are standing there for eating, היוצא מהם מותר. Whatever comes out of them is allowed. בשתייה בשבת, drinking on שבת. שהואיל ואין דעתו נוחה מזה שיצאו מהם המשקים. רבי יהודה סייזר סייזר, because if they're for food, you don't want them to be dry. You don't want the drink to come out of it. So you, do, you don't like it, so you're not worried you're going to squeeze it. Yeah, because you don't want... You, you don't want the squeezing. And Rachshosh, <laughs> Shema Yisrot. You're yeah. not worried, maybe it's going to come and squeeze them. Ve'im lemashkiim. But if it is standing there for um, drinking, אבל אם הפירות עומדים למשקים, היוצא מהם אסור. The one that comes out of them is prohibited. שהואיל ודעתו נוחה מהמשקים שיצאו, since he wants the drink to come out, גזרו שמא יסחטם על ידי המשבת. Then there's a decree, he might squeeze them. Or up to now we're talking about any kinds of fruit. The Gemara is going to say, no, 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 no. The Mishnah is not talking about any kind of fruits. בגמרא מבואר, in the Gemara it explains, שבזיתים ובענבים, when it comes to olives and grapes, אף רבי יהודה מודה, even רבי יהודה admits, שאפילו הם עומדים לאכילה, that even though these grapes and these olives were for eating, היוצא מהם אסור, whatever comes out of them is prohibited, because the wine that's out of grapes, and the olive that's out of ol- and the olive oil uh, uh, olive are the important parts in other words it's true you sometimes eat grapes but the main purpose of grape is the liquid all other fruits the main purpose of the fruit is the solid so it says Rabbi Yudha says now if it becomes wine or um, grapes or olives any liquid that comes out, I'm going to consider that you're not, you're not allowed to because you would like because to squeeze them. What they like. That's right. So, Afra bi Yehuda modei sha'afilu em amdim la'achila, even though they are for eating, ha'yotze me'em asur, whatever comes out of them is prohibited, prohibited, lefi she'ikaram shel perot elu l'schit ha'omdim, because the main purpose of those um, things are for squeezing. U'bish'ar minei perot she'enam ela la'achila, and all other fruits that are not, that are only there for eating, אף חכמים מודים שהמיץ היוצא מהם מותר. So, in other fruits, even the sages admit that the liquid that comes out of them is um, permitted. For example, today people eat... Pomegranate, for example. Yeah, I, yeah some people have... That juice. Yeah, some people drink pomegranate juice, but yeah, but I'll agree with you. Or, for example, figs. Nobody eats fig juice. Yeah, no. So whatever comes out of figs, it's not a problem. It's not something that they use for it. That's right. She'en darkam b'schita, because now nobody squeezes, uh, and I'm sure at that time nobody made apple juice. No. 
נכון. Yeah. So apples at that time, today do, a lot of people make apple juice, so it's uh, problematic. שאין דרכם בסחיטה. So it says, לא נחלקו חכמים ורבי יהודה, או, so where does the disagreement? תותים ורימונים. או, actually, it looks like they did from a granite juice. That's what it looks like. It says, תותים ורימונים, what's תותים? Berries, kind of berries, and pomegranates. שרבי יהוד, that's the disagreement. The whole disagreement is only on those two. שרבי יהודה מדמה אותם לשאר פירות, רבי יהודה says this is like other foods, this is a solid, it's on the liquid, yeah? וחכמים מדמים אותם לזיתים ולנבים, and the sage says no, this is, people make juice out of them, so therefore they are like juice. והלכה כרבי יהודה, and the halacha is like רבי יהודה. Finished. Another thing, oh this is an interesting, I can see this there. You have a honeycomb okay. full of uh, honey. So the, it, exactly. Or oh, are you allowed to squeeze it? The question: Are you allowed to squeeze it? It's wax. Are you allowed to go like this to squeeze the honey out of the honeycomb, or is it considered to be a fruit? Like you're not allowed to. What's the? What's the? Are you look? In other words, what do you look? Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Chalot vash honeycombs. חלות של שעווה ניטלות מן הכוורת, הניקום that you take from the hive, ובהם הדבש, in them you have the honey, שריסקן מערב שבת, you crush them before שבת. In other words, so if you crush them before שבת, the honey is coming out of them constantly now. כדי שיעזוב מהם הדבש, so that the honey will come out, ויצאו מעצמם, and during שבת they're coming out on their own. ויצא דבש בשבת מעצמו מתוך החלות המרוסקות, and the honey came out on its own from the honeycombs. אסורין, אסור הדבש באכילה בשבת זו. This honey is prohibited on this Shabbat. Again, what are you worried about? You're going to continue to take some more out, because you're dealing with it. You do, you're going to do the regular day, you do it during the week. לפי שחוששים שמא ירסק את חלוש הדבש בשבת. Because you're worried, maybe you're going to come out the... Um, honey and it, the honeycomb in Shabbat, you're going to crush it. Rabbi Eliezer, and Rabbi Eliezer permits it to eat the honey on this Shabbat. He's not worried, maybe you're going to take them out on Shabbat. What exactly is the disagreement? I'm not quite sure why he's not worried and why they are worried. Because he resecked them before Shabbat already. They were resecked. He did the job before Shabbat, it says. Okay. So, so why, 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 so why the sages are worried? That, uh, that's my logic. And the halacha is like Rabbi Eliezer, no? Like Rabbi Eliezer, yeah. No. Aha. I think we had it before. According to Rabbi Eliezer, it's already separated. Right, because there is sick, there is soup. And even though it's not separated good, once you start the separation, it's good. It's like the water that is, you remember, when you sieve water, you make it better, it's water to water. So I think maybe Rabbi Eder says, no, this is already liquid. It's not solid already. And Chachamim says, no, it's still solid. Maybe that's the Bachlopet. Okay.